Hey friends, welcome to another video. We are going to be doing part one of my deep clean with me. This is going to give you a ton of cleaning motivation. This house is an absolute disaster. It is trash. It is messy and we are going to take care of it today. So I hope you guys are ready to get a ton done. Let's go. I feel like there are two types of people. You have one set of people that are really on top of things. When they pull something out, they put it away. Then you have another group of people that pull things out and it doesn't go back. And a lot of mess and clutter may not really bother people. But for me, I'm kind of in the middle. Let me know where you're at in that scenario. I'm in the middle because sometimes I do pull things out and don't put them up. And sometimes I do put my things away right away. We've got a lot of people in this house and a lot of people pull things out and don't put it away. And I am a huge culprit in that. I will be completely transparent. I do teach my kids to clean up after themselves, but they are also kids. And if I'm not on top of them every single time, sometimes it doesn't happen. And I need the same sort of accountability, to be honest with you especially when my mind gets cluttered and there's just a lot going on my house is the first thing to take a back seat so today i finally woke up and i realized i cannot live like this what has happened and how did it get this way so i spent the entire day deep cleaning my home now this is part one because the video is actually so long because i did so much that i had to cut it into two videos so today we are going to be doing the first few spaces you'll see full transformations befores and afters of how i'm going to get this house back in order so i can have more of a peaceful mind and home So I knew the first thing I needed to do because it all seemed so very, very overwhelming was just grab trash bags. I'd recommend you do the same. Get yourself some trash bags, some empty boxes, baskets, whatever you've got. And if it's overwhelming, just start with a small pile, a small drawer, a small task. The goal here is creating momentum, especially if this is something you've been putting off for quite some time. You want to create that momentum. And even if you have to set a timer for five minutes or play your favorite song or listen to a book, this will really help just get you focused on what you have to do. You want to take the guesswork out of it. So just go through it quickly. And like I've always said, it's just get the trash first. And then the next thing is anything that you don't want or you want to donate, go ahead and put it in the other bag. I know you knew what I thought. Or did you leave or not? You said that you meant to, but you forgot. And I never saw it come. It should have been so easy, but a feeling complete thinking about you. Yeah. And I would just let you be, but I consistently think about you. Think about you. Mystery, history to you, but girl is new to me. I wish that I could see it happen naturally, but I never. 
So tackling this bathroom has been on my to-do list in my mind for the longest time. When I'm in here, I see all of the things that need done, taking out the trash, doing the mirror, the baseboards, and I just, as soon as I leave, it is all out of my mind. So this is a little tip that I have started to do once again, and I wanted to share it with you all. Uh, I will, if I have my phone on me, which generally I do not bring it in the restroom, if I have it on there, I'll just make a note right there. And, or if I am, you know, I have my Apple watch, I will say text Chris and I will make him a note. I will leave a little, you know, take out trash, do this, that, and the other. And he'll be like, what? And I'm saying, I'm making mental notes and he already knows. So that is really helpful. Also post-it notes. When I worked, post-it notes for my best friend and still to this day, I love them so, so much. So wherever you have deep thought, wherever that's relevant for you, whether it's the restroom, your room, kitchen, laundry room, wherever that is relevant for you, have a stack of post-it notes and a pen or a marker and leave notes. There is nothing wrong with it. While you're washing your hands in the restroom and you're still thinking, go ahead and remember to put a post-it note up. Or we often keep dry erase markers in our bathroom and Chris will leave um, scripture and verses up there, meant like to-do lists, things that are on our mind to do. And that is also really awesome because you can just use some Windex and wipe it all down or use your finger and cross things out. So a dry erase marker works beautifully on these mirrors and helps you remember the things that you need to do. I used to post a lot more cleaning videos on my channel and I haven't in quite some time and it feels really good to get back to doing that. I also wanted to leave another tip that when it comes to cleaning, having a little cleaning caddy in each bathroom really helps out a lot. So when you're in the mood to clean, you can just do it. You see something anywhere, just pick up a Lysol wipe or clean the toilet because I know that if I have to walk all the way into another room to go get those items to clean this area, it won't happen, I'll forget. So if you can get yourself a little caddy, you can go to the Dollar Tree. They have a lot of really great things and great supplies too. So just fill up your caddy for a couple of dollars, probably five bucks and have one in each bathroom and it really will help you stay on top of your cleaning routine. I'm using my Robo Rock, the wet vac, all over the floor to pick up any of the things in here. Like it's a vacuum and it works so well getting any debris off the floor while mopping. Now, obviously this is sped up quite a bit, but I go over this pretty slow. I like having this on hand because it's one of those things, let me just tell you, you do not need it. But it was one of those things that I just could not stand how nasty and sticky my floors were and I didn't wanna pull the mop out every night. So I got it and we use it regularly. I like being able to have this. Now, I don't think anything can replace good old fashioned broom and mop or hands and knees um, scrubbing. 
I think that's the best, but we don't always have time for that. So to do a light pickup, if things get spilled in the kitchen or the bathroom, I love having that on hand. Again, you don't need it, but it can definitely make your life easier if you find yourself wanting to mop often, but not wanting to go through the hassle of pulling the mop out. Now, I love my mop. I have a permanent link in my description box for this mop. This is a small business, family owned business. And I saw him advertising on TikTok and I just, I appreciated what he was doing so much. He was so determined and so genuine that I had to have his product. I wanted to help. I just wanted to, to help purchase from uh, his business because it was straight to his family. And I have, absolutely been in love with this mop ever since it has far exceeded my expectations and it is more durable it's got an extending handle it comes with attachments and now it has a new bucket with different reservoirs for the water so the dirty and the clean water never have to mix it is incredible and so if you want to support a small business but you want to actually have in my opinion this is my opinion um, the best spin mop on the market, you've got to check this out. I usually can't do all of my cleaning all at once, um, but on this particular day, Emma's babysitter came over and I decided to just really utilize this time. Not only that, and I don't know if it was a little gloomy outside and it was starting to rain. This was the day before the hurricane a couple of weeks back, but when I woke up today and I walked into the kitchen, I looked around and I could not believe the state of my house. and. I'm being honest when I tell you that I just, in that moment, it was like a realization. And I thought, how did I let this get this way? And I immediately started with the negative self-talk and how could you do this? What kind of mom are you? And I just started going through all of this. And then I said, no, stop. Instead of using all of the shame or guilt or whatever negative negativity I was saying to myself, I wanted to take that same energy and put it into making a change. I am learning that you can't change what has been done, but you can move forward and make a change. So on this day, like I said, it was like I was seeing it all for the first time. And I really didn't have a ton of energy, but I was digging in deep to wanting to change the way I was feeling in that moment, that in that guilt, it was a lot of guilt, a lot of shame, a lot of embarrassment. And I truly feel like I had just been blind to the mess and to the clutter. And I've talked about this and you see on the screen, it says, what is color blindness? Clutter blindness is the term used to describe the inability to see clutter. And it goes on, you can read that there, but I actually Googled it and it's true. It's your brain's way of adapting to your surroundings. In the same sense, have you ever heard of being nose blind? Many people don't know what their homes may smell like, a good or bad, because we're used to it, we're accustomed to it. So that's the same thing with the state of your home. So if you're looking around and you're thinking, I don't know how it got this way, I want you to know that it is true, it's not just me, it is a strange phenomenon on the adaptation of our brain to the area that we are in, and it happens to most people. So if you're feeling stuck in that state, it's never too late to get started, and you don't have to take on everything. It can. Some people can do it very quickly, and for some people it can really genuinely take years and years to go through their entire house and declutter things and get a good cleaning routine that they feel comfortable with and so they can keep up with it. 
So that is my goal. Since I've done this cleaning, this was a couple of weeks ago, I have been able to stay on top of it. I needed to do this deep clean, not only for my home, but for myself. And I have felt really proud of myself. I have felt lighter in the sense, um, just physically, mentally, spiritually, I have felt lighter. I have felt just the weight lifted off. And I really feel like if you take this opportunity to just tackle a space in your house, you will understand that feeling that I'm talking about. It's really good and I love it. And I had forgotten what that felt like. I was so overwhelmed with everything around me, everything going on in my mind, everything going on around me that I just didn't feel like I could do it. It was like I was literally not only blind to it, but I was paralyzed when I would have a moment like, oh, I need to get things done. I would walk out and I'm like, oh, no. Or I would get interrupted and I felt defeated. But you really have to work hard. You have to be absolutely intentional with working hard and pass through, push through those emotions. Because most of us don't get unlimited time to clean or be creative or to do to do the things that we really want to do but if we allow the frustration of being interrupted or feeling overwhelmed to keep hitting us we'll never get anything done I've seen a couple of questions about my vacuums. This is the Kirby. We purchased it about a year or so ago, and it is a beast, but it will last probably a hundred years, and it works better than anything I've ever used. Um, I love the way it refreshes the fibers in the carpet, and it really makes the room feel just night and day difference, clean, lighter, fresher. Also, I feel like it makes the rugs feel cleaner so this thing has a lot of things that it can do. It can do windows, it can do carpet cleaning. It can, it's actually kind of crazy, all the stuff that it can do. However, it is a beast and she is very heavy and the back of it broke to where it doesn't lock in place. So trying to carry it all over the house has been difficult. So if you see me using another vacuum, that is the Shark. And I like that one because it gets under, you know, the beds and, you know, low lying furniture. So. A handheld one is the shark and this one is the Kirby.
When Chris came home, he had to go do a quick service call again. This was right before the hurricane. So the kiddos were home and he had to do a service call and Drew was at work. He was coming home shortly. And they don't call off work generally until it's pretty close, but schools will go ahead and cancel as a precautionary measure. But when he walked in after I had cleaned um, the kitchen, which you'll see shortly, his face was like, whoa. He looked at me and he kind of looked around and he had a grin on his face and he's like, how we doing and I don't know I just felt I just felt really happy that you know a of course he noticed he always notices things like that um but I felt proud of myself and I felt like he was proud of me and that really just spoke to my heart in that moment as a mom I feel like we can often feel kind of invisible and I shared a message my son had sent me last week on Instagram where he just said, hey mom, I just wanna let you know how proud of you I am for getting up and going to the gym in the morning and trying to keep the house clean even though the boys mess it up. But I just want you to know how much I love you and I'm proud of you. And oh my gosh, he goes to work, uh, my oldest, he's 18, he goes to work about six o'clock in the morning. Um, and so when I saw that, I woke up to that, it just made me feel incredible. Very thankful for that sweet message he, he chose to send me. And I had told him, I said, you know, as a mom, I just sometimes feel invisible and like nobody notices, um, they don't, people notice if you don't make dinner, but they don't talk about how good your dinner is. Or they notice if you haven't unloaded the dishwasher, they don't notice, you know, that you did unload the dishwasher or, you know, just things like that. And that's normal. I think most of us feel like that from time to time. It's not every day by any means, but when Chris came home and he noticed and he appreciated it really spoke to me and i was just really excited and thankful that he did and it has felt really really good to stay on top of it and i also realized that you know it is easier to function be creative be kind be all of those things in a clean and organized space it is for me at least i can't speak for everyone but it is for me and i've noticed even for my children when it comes to the house or their bedrooms, especially, especially their rooms, my kids do better with less stuff. And so do I. And I, we do better with clean spaces, cleared off countertops, made beds, clothes put away. And so for some people that really doesn't bother. And so if you're someone that haven't, you're a maximalist and having stuff everywhere doesn't even phase you, please do not feel that i am here trying to shame or make anyone feel bad i am simply coming with my own experiences i am coming with my own realizations about my life and my home and my family so i don't ever want to come here and you feel like well we have stuff everywhere and i like it that way i promise you i am coming here with a genuine heart of compassion and love and understanding and grace because i i want that for myself as well but if if you don't clean like me or you are do you do well in a home with a lot of things everywhere that's okay i want to celebrate that for you i my goal here and the whole point I started this channel was for no one to feel alone. I just wanted to be here for someone um, because I know what it feels like. And I have learned a lot about myself and my family and about why I have gravitated towards cleaning and decluttering and organizing my whole life. And I just feel like it's necessary to share that. So that's why I'm on this platform. I am never ever here to make anyone feel less than or shameful or guilty. Please don't ever take any of my words like that because I can promise you that's never my intention. And if it has ever come off like I know it all or, you know, you should feel bad about yourself if your house doesn't look like mine or you need to get rid of things that you love if i have ever come off like that i just want to take a moment and sincerely say i'm sorry that was never my intention and i'm not saying that i have to somebody i'm just saying there are many people who watch this these videos and if 
that has ever come up in your heart, I just want you to know that's not my intention. I come here with love and I make it very known that all are welcome. I'm just sharing my own experiences and what works for you, hoping that I can help you because I genuinely care about you. Let me tell you another little thing that I have learned. In my house, if there is countertop, it will have something on it more times than not. It becomes a catch-all. Another thing I've learned, if I have a designated bins for things, like I got this little container here for mail, it gets filled with so many other things. I just will put things in there to get them off the countertop. And then it gets over it overflows. Then I put it in the aka junk drawer. So I'm learning that if I don't just put things in their rightful place and I just have a place to like put stuff, like mail, put stuff, I, it will accumu accumulate so much more again, like I've talked about and so many people have talked about that clutter's a magnet. And even good clutter is a magnet. So even if you've got a nice little vignette on your countertop for your K-cups and your coffee or your whatever, don't you notice that more times than not, more stuff will accumulate there. It'll be a spoon that you use that morning or maybe an old K-cup or a pod or the creamer sits there. It's just like, why does it happen like that? So one of the things that I have been really working on and being diligent with is, well, I moved that mail holder first off and it leaves that area uh, open. Right now I've got fall decor on there. If you saw my last week's video, you know that. But if I move it, where it's not so accessible, less things get piled in there. And when mail comes out and say there's a bill or there's something that I need, I will address it right then and there instead of it going into that slot because A, I generally won't remember what's due and like I had said, other things will just get shoved in there. So I don't know, that's just what I've learned. For me, it's, it's not buying more bins to organize. It's not buying more things to put things. It's just get rid of those things to address those things, to have homes for those things. Don't buy more bins for those things. A really quick and easy way to make your kitchen feel so much cleaner and bigger is just take everything off of the refrigerator. I like to have things here, like you saw the 
the little acrylic boards and calendars, pictures and whatnot, but I like having this really clean too. It makes the kitchen feel so much more open and cleaner. So that is a tip. You could also get a bulletin board or like a, a cork board for maybe the side of the cabinets. Use some command strips. That's what I'm thinking about doing or have a little command center somewhere else that's not as noticeable because when this is cleaned off and it's clean, the kitchen just feels fresher, even with a sink full of dishes. I encourage you to try it. So when I did this cleaning, I did an all day cleaning. I had so many hours of the day. I think when I looked at my watch, I'll see if I can try to find the clip where I took a picture of my watch. I think it was almost 10,000 steps just by cleaning the house. It was literally all day. And I got about almost four hours of footage and I'm not, I, I, I had to speed it up so much to be able to get, um, to make it into a decent size of video, but I didn't want it to be an hour and a half long. So what I've decided to do is go ahead and make a part two. So I usually won't post on Tuesdays. Generally, I've been sticking to the Thursday at noon. Um, as long as YouTube cooperates properly, sometimes it takes a really long time to upload. So I've decided to go ahead and stop this video here and I'm gonna do a part two for Tuesday at noon. So go ahead and mark your calendars go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are new, I'd love for you to consider subscribing and joining my online community here where we just love on each other and encourage each other wherever you are at. And uh, we're gonna have that bonus video for Tuesday and you'll get another full long video of cleaning motivation where we're just gonna tackle this home and get it back to where it needs to be. And then the following Thursday, we will have a declutter and organize video of just tackling some more spaces, the kids' room, the linen closets, things like that. So thank you all so much for being here. I didn't really intend for it to stop here, but now I'm already at 32 minutes and I'm realizing there's no way this is gonna be another hour and a half long. So we're gonna stop, but just, I just want you to know how much I love you and I appreciate you and I'm thankful for you. Um, if you want to be notified, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when the new video is up. I cannot wait to see you on the next one. I hope you have a wonderful week and I love you more than you know. You are loved. You are worthy. And this world is a better place because of you. See you soon. Bye friends.